one, two, you hear the clock ticking, tick, tock, you about to stop living, tick, tock, I want you to remember me, tick, tock, but the day don't have no memory, I'm coming, nobody can stop me, nobody can hold me, nobody can control me, I'm coming, I'm here to do my thing, I'm here to bring the pain, I'm never ever gonna change, I'm coming. Hey folks, Evil DM here. I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. Some people requested some plays here, play actual plays. Found a, I guess a newer game, not an old game, but a new game. And uh, it's based on one of the fighting, I guess the fighting fantasy, fighting series books that were like kind of like you choose your own adventure, but they roll, you actually roll dice and have a character sheet. It, remember the choose your own adventure books we used to play back in the 80s before? I think these were also in the 80s, but I didn't really play a lot of them. I recently discovered a couple of these books. I thought it was awesome. Then I saw there was a game, so why not jump right into trying this game? I'm going to do this just to see how a couple episodes do, and uh, maybe we'll continue this as a series as, uh, you know, once a week or something, every couple of days. Who knows? Uh, you know, I'll just, I'll just go keep recording on these things and see how far it goes. Let me know what you think, because I have a, a new microphone set up here, and uh, it should be a little bit better as far as capturing audio and everything and not in the way. So uh, we'll see what happens. Start this game off. So I'm gonna go to options and make sure this, okay, audio and everything's down, perfect. I wanna make sure. Let's start a new game. Obviously we have to start in story mode. We can also, I noticed you do this, you could change the picture drawings to black and white or I guess sketch versus color. I think I'll just keep them color. They actually look kind of cool that way. I do like the way this is set up, the music, and, gold and the little pieces and the map in the background here it's actually really cool this game so let's see welcome back player uh let me begin a new journey which figurine will i take to the fire top mountain this time let's select so basically you get your setup here in the market yard of which of the characters you want to play and they each have their own stamina skill and luck and then based on those you get certain abilities you get along with certain different attacks or attack patterns, I should say. I think this is a little bit noisy, so I do apologize. I'll have to fix that a bit later. But so we have different characters. Basically, our reach person. We have a, a skilled swordsman here. Kind of looks like he's from Shrek or something like that, right? I don't know why this area is so loud. We got another one here, which is more of a, maybe a, a thief-like character because she has two weapons. Maybe one for a backstab. I'm not sure. But uh, we see she has right attack, she has piercing attack, she has a quick jab from across. But you'll see those as we're playing the game here. And we got this cool guy who has a pretty awesome kind of attack. I haven't played him yet, but see the pattern attacks? But we'll get into that more. This is my guy right here. I like this guy. So we're going to go with him. Let's begin. So I've chosen uh, Dicky on Strom. And if you like, you may just like the hero. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we can uh, just travel to the Firetop Mountain because the tutorials and the free read are really bleh. So you see they have the little figurine go straight forward. Kind of like an actual figure in a, a mini in a game. So the two-day hike is over when Goblin Blevins ambushed your convoy on the road to Zengis. You were outnumbered and had to fight your way to the safety of Anvil. One of the goblins, a so-called jailer called Rotgut, stole from you a valuable locket that was given to you in your Kalanish Ma? Kal Kalanish Ma? Many years ago by the priest of Artaris. You were planning to sell it for a pricely sum and retire from the dangerous life of the armed caravan. So this priceless item, valuable locket that was given to me, I was going to sell it. Hmm. Rumors and anvil have led you to believe that the goblins had attacked your convoy or were under the command of none other than Zagor, the mysterious warlock who rules Flyatop Mountain. You're determined to find the jailer, reclaim your prize, and bury a horse to travel back to Sardeth. If there is a sizable fortune left after this, so much the better. You've also heard tales from the locals that the warlock is the man to be feared as much as he is wealthy. He's not easily intimidated, but if a good djinn, djinn were to appear and grant you a hundred gold pieces and a femifero stallion in return for your soul, you might just take the deal. You cautiously approach the cave entrance, which you know is frequently frequently is used frequently by the goblins. You can check that your crossbow is secure on your back and grip the hilt of your sword. You're ready to face any foe. Your adventure starts here. Click to continue. Ooh. Black and white. 
Ooh, color. <laughs> Let's peer into the gloom. You see the dark, slimy walls of the water pool on the stone floor in front of you. The air is cold and dank. Hearing faint scurrying to the east, you light your lantern. This place stinks of goblins and orcs. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on my locket so I can get out of here. Step real into the blackness. You stand in the dark, slimy cave entrance. Hmm. 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 Let's approach that fork ahead. Ooh. After a few yards, you arrive at the junction. Should I turn west or east? What do you think, guys? Nobody's here, so what am I talking to? Uh, let's turn west. A little along the way of the passage, a little way along the passage, you come up with clearly the sentry post. <laughs> Aw, isn't that cute? He's sound asleep. You approach with caution and can see an orc in the leather armor asleep at his post. This lazy orc needs a surprise wake-up call. Saunter up to the sleeping orc. Hmm. Oi! <laughs> you shout, kicking the orc awake. He grumpily gets up with a start and draws his weapon and snarls at you. Fight the orc god. Alright, so here's basically the battle, how it looks. Kind of like a mini battle type thing. Again, some sound effects are really loud again, so I don't think I could change them in here, so I apologize. So basically, the gist is you can move. The red squares are well beyond your movement. Blue is where you move. The orc guard is here. These are basically things that are in your way. When they go to attack you, you can tell, but I'll show you that in a minute. So click on the square. You can move. Right slash or attack. Right slash is not going to reach him at this moment, but let's move there. See, he attacked forward. I don't know if I can reach him over here. I can right slash him or attack him. Well, I don't need to right slash him because there's only one person here, so we'll just attack him. But he moved. Ah, son of a... See, that shake that he did right there, that means he's going to attack again according to the rules of this game. Which goes through in the, uh... In the actual, um... Move this over a little bit there. Which they go over in the actual, um... Tutorial, which I'd skip because it's dull. But if I go to attack him now, and there's he attacks, him, which he didn't. Oh yeah, we do a test of uh, skills. It's called the two. Ow, he hurt me with that one. So he's gonna move away. He's probably going right here the way it looks. So if I attack here, I get him while he's move. So basically, that's the gist of this game and how it works. And these battles go on like this, and he shook him something, so he's going to probably try to attack here, thinking I'm going to move here. But I'm going to attack. And everything you kill, you get souls for. And the more souls you collect up so far, I figured out you can buy other little figurines to play in these little adventures. Boy, you shout, kicking. Oh, we did it already. Victory, I lost two stamina, but I gained two souls. You have defeated the Orc God. We hop on forward. The passageway begins to widen until you enter a cave. However, blocking the cave's exit are two of the ugliest creatures you have ever seen. They have proportions of dogs, but their hide is rough and scaly. Each piece is chained to the wall, secured to their thick brass collars. Continue. Ooh, that was scary. The two orc hounds begin to snarl and strain at their chains. They cannot reach you, but their chains are long enough that should you approach, you will not be able to escape their slavering jaws. These poor wretches have not been looked after well, it seems. Maybe I should put them out of their misery. My guy is just wants to immediately attack everybody, no matter what. You're going to have to deal with them quickly, one way or another, before they attract the attention of the Orc Patrol. Or maybe something worse. So, I can distract them with food or draw my weapon. Hmm. Hmm. Well... I'm going to draw my weapon. Drawing your weapon prepared to engage in the Orc Hounds combat. However, because they are chained to the walls, their movement is limited. So this is actually going to be in my favor. Alright, so they move first. There didn't shake. I didn't notice anything. So let's just move here. 
Oh, because they're gonna attack now. If I do a right <laughs> slash, it would go here. If I do it over here, it would go there. So I'm just gonna attack. Alright, yeah, that worked. So they're gonna probably move. So I should probably move here. Yeah, that's what I'm and they're gonna attack again, so let's just get rid of this guy right here. Alright. I didn't see him shake, so he's probably gonna move. I'm gonna be safe to do a right slash. I thought so. Anyway. He's gonna attack me, so let's do a attack. Yeah! You are triumphant! Continue. I've defeated the Orcans. Yay! Hopping up the stairs. Oh. Leave the cave quickly as you can as you follow the new passageway. It turns to the north. So this right here is where you can rest and try to recover your hit points or your stamina. I have down two, so I'm probably just going to rest here. So blah, 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 where you may rest. Mm, I would strongly advise sitting on this bench. If you're not, do not be able to resurrect. If it, oh, so basically it's a save point too. So rest and consume for provisions. Do we need to do that? Or I don't think we need to, but let's do it anyway. Just to be safe. You sit down on the bench and take out your portion provisions from your pack. You gain a moment of rest combined with your healthy provisions. Make you feel much better. Plus 10 in the stat. Oh, because I ate something. That's probably why. Well, whatever. To your left, on the west face of the passage, there is a rough cut wooden door. You listen at the door and can hear some rasping sound, which may be some sort of snoring. Hmm. Do I want to press onwards northward, or do I want to open the door? Let's open the door. The door opens to reveal a small, smelly room. In the center of the room is a rickety wooden table on which stands a lit candle. Underneath the table is a small wooden box. There's nothing sleeping on the mattress. <laughs> Asleep on the straw mattress, groaning in the far corner of the room, is a green-skinned dog. He is a stocky creature with an ugly wart face. He must be a guard for the night watch. Obviously, these orcs do not have the same work ethic as these goblins that attack my convoy. I'm gonna steal that box. <laughs> Carefully, you begin to creep into the sleeping orcs' room. Test your luck. Ready? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Yahtzee! Ten. Unlucky. Clumsily, you jostle a table, waking the orcs. Okay, so basically for this, you have to roll under your scores for tests here. Oh, okay, that's how that works. You tread carefully, but accidentally knock the table. Oh, crap. Orc rouses up and says, whoa, what's up? So I have to fight this guy. So he's going to attack, so I'll probably just wait right here. Maybe I'll just attack. Can I attack too far? No. Maybe I'll just move here. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. I'm going to walk over here. And he's going to attack again, so I'll right attack him. Now he's gonna run away, watch. Uh, I'm gonna move here. And he's gonna attack. So I'll attack him. Continue a triumphant. You have defeated the orc. With the box in hand, you leave the room and open the passage. Open the box in the passageway. Inside, you find four gold pieces, a small mouse, which is a creature's pet. Aww. Yay. Four gold pieces. You release the mouse, which scurries off down the passageway. So we can continue on, or we can stop right here. Let's continue on. 
so I can follow the passage or not. But we're at the 15 minute mark, so I'm going to have to just cut it right here and we'll just have to keep these kind of small and short to uh, just see how it happens. All right, so see you next time, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep it original, keep it old school, and good night.